This is for Tyler. This is how to cook a standing rib roast. First, of course, you want to buy your meat. Um, again, you can ask. Uh, I like the meat from the fresh market. That's my favorite. And just ask the butcher there to um, get you a standing rib roast. Um, I bought this rib roast from Winn-Dixie. And they call it a beef ribeye roast. You're basically making prime rib. And this is your favorite uh, meat covered in rosemary as you call it but um, in this case I have purchased um, about two ribs and it's a 2.85 pound rib roast and you want to have that first we'll start out while you're fixing this go ahead and turn your oven on and get it up to about 450 degrees okay so we've got our pan to cook it in now the ingredients that you want to put all over uh, your standing rib roast is a mixture of fresh rosemary you can buy that at any store uh, it's best if you grow your own, which I try to do. Uh, you can also use crushed rosemary, and you can use kosher salt. And then, of course, most important, you want to try to use fresh garlic, okay? Cloves of garlic. Uh, instead of kosher salt, you can also use regular salt. But um, in general, in buying a rib roast, you want to purchase about half to three-quarter pound of meat per person that you're serving. And in case Tyler's there, you want to make sure he has at least a pound or a whole rib by himself. So again, this is the mixture, salt, ro fresh rosemary, crushed rosemary, um, fresh, lots of fresh garlic already crushed up, minced. Again, if you get into a pinch, you can't do the fresh garlic, you can buy a jar of minced garlic. And here's your other ingredients in the pan. You usually want to do a boiling pan um, that catches the juices underneath, but I don't have that here, so I'm just having to use a smaller pan. But um, how to cook it, again, your, your oven's up to 450. You've got your meat all nicely covered in the rosemary mixture, and you want to put it in that oven at 450 for about 20 minutes. Then, without opening your oven, you just want to turn it down to 350. And you want to cook each pound of meat um, calculated about 20 minutes per pound and with this being 2.85 pounds of this I'm probably going to do the 20 minutes at 450 and then I'm going to do about an hour um, at 350 so you cut it back again if I'm making sense here 450 for 20 minutes cut the oven down to 350 and cook each pound another uh, 20 minutes each that will usually give you, again, a rare rib roast uh, with a warm center, but it'll be nice and red and rare and juicy in the middle. Uh, usually these are very tender, but that's how you do it. Uh, again, if you have a big, big rib roast or you have a lot of friends coming over, it's going to take you a long time to cook it. I would suggest perhaps cutting it into two, um, three pound pieces if you can. Uh, again, this is, has two ribs. Um, I wouldn't cook more than three ribs roast and if you have more people then you can cook two separate roasts and they'll both fit in the oven just fine but um hope this helps you Tyler again uh, just remember your ingredients and if you have questions you know how to call okay enjoy your meat covered in rosemary and again this is how you make fine rib thanks